DeAndre Hopkins on what he's looking for in a new team. Stable management. Mm. A QB who loves the game. He stressed Kyler Murray does, but he's injured. And a great defense because defense wins championships. So what do the Lions have now on their team? They've got stable management in the front office. They're building a great defense. Yeah. With all the pieces they've added, a great secondary. That defensive line looked great at the end of the year. And Jack Campbell, who hopefully can solidify that uh, linebacker position for the Detroit Lions. And a quarterback who loves the game. So I know we, we both have our feelings about Jared Goff and what he is as a player, as a talent in this league. But I don't think you can question if he loves the game or not. Fair. I think it's proven that he goes out there, he fights for his guys, he's rallies for his guys, he dealt with a lot, and he's shown that he loves the game of football and he's passionate about the game of football. Nah, how about that defense? Because, like, we're optimi- op- opportunistic or, or optimistic about yeah. it, but... Yeah. Uh, I don't think DeAndre Hopkins has the same expectations as we do. I think he very defense. well can. He saw what that defense did to them two years ago <laughs> when they were do. when they were garbage. What they did to what they did to the Arizona Cardinals, fucking destroyed Kyler Murray's psyche, shut them down, ruined their season. Uh, just, I'm just Last saying. year, what that you don't think these guys watch NFL football or pay attention to NFL football? What they did down the stretch, being a great defense in the league. All the pieces you added and the the jump you're expecting from a, an Aiden Hutchinson, a Kirby Joseph, a James Houston, a Malcolm Rodriguez. You're saying it's a Lions fan. I'm talking about DeAndre Hopkins. I'm pretty sure DeAndre Hopkins watched the last 10 games of the season last year. I mean, you don't know that. I do. No, we, we, we don't. What do you mean you do? I watched them with him. So yeah. trust, <laughs> trust me, bro. <laughs> so trust me, bro. Uh, uh, listen, I love, I love for you already know. We, I've been on the track record. Like, go Trayvon. D Hop would be amazing, amazing if, addition if he gets cut. What? He's not at OTAs. Does he go to OTAs? No, because he never went to OTAs. He goes to OTAs. It was a pretty big deal that he wasn't there. Trust me. Trust me. Right? <laughs> There's, I've never seen anything about him missing OTAs before this year. It's because like a lot of times, and I've it's never not seen a, a player who's OTAs. happy with the team and ready to go put out a demand of the next team he plays for. Yeah, I mean, uh, go ahead. I, I, I mean, I can't, I can't sell that. Well, I, no I can't sell said that D-Hop going to Baltimore. Mm. That'd be fucking KC. Baltimore would win the Super Bowl. That's what I'm saying, Baltimore. bro. If he gets released, I'm like. Detroit may be on the list. Yeah. I don't know if they're cracking the top four. <laughs>